2012, I wanted to see this movie in theaters because this movie was the talk of the town. I think I was in fifth grade, maybe going into middle school. So this is a movie that everyone was talking about at school. It was a movie that their parents brought to the movie theaters to see it. And I was like, I want to see it. My mom and dad said, nope. And I was like, well, why not? Because the rule was they have to watch it first and then I get to watch it. And so I had to sneak and watch this at a friend's house when it came out on DVD. And I'll never forget watching it and just being blown away as a young kid because I was like, I thought this was a slasher and turns out it's a very funny slasher. Written and directed by Drew Goddard, who gave us The Bad Time, The El Royale, which is a great underrated movie. And it's co-written by Joss Whedon, which, yes, I know we don't talk about him anymore. But in 2012, he had The Avengers. It was a big movie. He did Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Everyone loved Joss Whedon at that time. Ten years later, he's a total douchebag. But, hey, this movie was filmed, like, in 2009 and didn't get released till 2012. Chris Hemsworth wasn't even Thor when he filmed this movie. It just so happened he's in it. He's Thor big time. Put the movie out there. Turns out, The Cab in the Woods honestly might have a huge impact on horror and what to expect in the 2012s because yes in 2013 i will always say the conjuring changed a lot of stuff for the horror game james wan did a bunch but in 2012 the cabin in the woods gave us one of the most funniest horror comedies of all time and to this day watching it tonight it is still up there as one of the best this movie is awesome this movie seriously knows what it is how to do it at a quick pace, have fun, and actually be a little scurry sometimes. And I had a total blast watching it tonight. I haven't seen it in a good minute. And watching it, I literally sat down. I was like, I love how the opening scene, we're literally like in offices talking to these two random guys. We're like, am I in the right movie? Am I watching the right movie? And then it turns out, oh yeah, title card, Cabin in the Woods. And then bam. We are like a generic high schooler people, college people, sorry, going in a minivan, going to the woods in a cabin that looks just like the Evil Dead. Oh, and by the way, these guys are like underground and they're controlling everything. Richard Jenkins and Bradley Whitford make this movie 10 times better. Their dialogue and their chemistry is so darkly comedic and it's perfect for this movie i love how they completely bet with everyone in the office saying all right we have zombie redneck family i bet on zombies no you bet on regular zombies these are zombies with redneck family i love that they take everything that we know cliches about horror movies seriously they have little rooms of all different type of ghosts unicorns monsters everything of horror generic stuff is in these rooms and they're they could be released separately up into this cabin to kill people so they can feed the gods so they don't destroy the earth that plot line is something you would not expect when this movie came out you expect generic hour and a half horror movie and you get more than that and this movie is clever it's funny it's bloody it's very bloody it's very just on the nose perfect seriously i love a lot about this movie. The direction by Drew Goddard, the movie looks great, especially for 10 years ago, still holds up. I think it looks really good. I mean, heck, it was filmed 2009, so it looks great today. And I, even though Joss Whedon, his dialogue is in this movie, his sexual humor is in this movie. And yes, it's there. Is it funny? Yes. Is there boobies? Yes. Is it hot? I think it's pretty hot when she licks a wolf. Sorry. Overall though, for this movie to completely just flip it on its head and be something completely different is just awesome. It's original, it's fresh. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. Really do. It's a great spooky Halloween movie. It's very funny. You get your good scares, but again, these characters who are decent people getting murdered, you kind of feel bad for them. And by the end, that little cameo and how it ends, it's pretty awesome. My only complaint is I will say the famous scene where all the monsters come out, 
For me, I know a lot of people love that stuff. They love seeing all these different type of kills. That entire sequence to me feels very cheesy from all the smart dialogue, the smart kills that we had in the very beginning leading to them getting downstairs. That just feels very B-movie material. And it's fun to watch, but to me it feels very off from the rest of the movie. And I know that's very much a hot take, but that's just me. I still really love this movie and I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna give The Cabin in the Woods an A. Hey Drew Goddard, please direct more horror movies. Like I love El, El Royale, like that's a good movie. But can you do more horror movies? Like seriously, don't involve Joss Whedon, but do more horror movies. I would love to see it. Anyway guys, you guys enjoyed this movie review and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye everyone.